As for the rest, I'm sure you'll pick it up as you go along. <laughs> so, what do you say? Would you be interested in joining us? Welcome back, my adoring public, to more uh, Trails and the Sky the Third. Pharaoh Fiasco here. Last episode, we started on Chapter 4, but someone pointed out that I uh, actually managed to miss this particular door. Bring to me the fists of steel, which nothing in this world can move. Only then shall the door open. Yeah, we're gonna open the door and have let Zine have his time in the spotlight. We've got him in the party, so we might as well put him to use, right? I'm actually kind of really hoping that Keelika shows up in this. Find out what she's up to. Oh, everybody gets to come in. I shall grant you a memory fragment and my blessing. Let's see what we got. Hmm. Mysterious gentle friend. Ah, good day to you all. The place you're about to enter is an arena where history's strongest warriors gather and eagerly await new challengers. And today, you will have the opportunity to be those challengers. Do what you can to emerge victorious. I feel I must warn you, however, that this is a martial arts tournament like no other. Only the best may compete. The rules are simple. First, the four of you will form one team and step into the arena. There, your team will face off against three others one after another with no breaks in between. As for the rest, I'm sure you'll pick it up as you go along. <laughs> so, what do you say? Would you be interested in joining us? Sure. Splendid! Well then, if you don't mind following me... Alright, so... Whoa! All of Liberal's finest have gathered for battle. The arena normal. Feel the sting of the Swordmaster's blade! <laughs> well... Okay, so I guess we're playing JoJo's Bizarre Legacy. In this game, you will compete against three teams in three rounds, and you must defeat all of them to win. Losing any of the battles results in you losing the tournament as a whole. At the end of each round, your HP and EP will be fully restored. Your CP, however, will not. So this is a this is what is a mini game then, huh? All right. It looks like cheerful host. It is now the moment you've all been waiting for. Tonight, four new warriors will be stepping up to the plate and challenging the normal arena. So let's get right to introducing our fierce fighters, shall we? In the blue corner, we are led by Father Kevin Graham of the Septian Church's Grawls Ritter. Standing against them in the red corner, we have the mysterious team Men in Black. Let the first round begin! Step on up and ready your weapons. Ready? Fight! Match 1 preliminaries. Hell, right? Whoa, we should have healed all our CP before we did this. Oh, man. Men in, or Man in Black Blade, a mysterious assailant, uses smoke grenades and body blows to impair foe's movement. Hmm. Alright, so... Joshua... Wow. Uh, they're not really set up in a way we can get at them. I feel like this is cheating. These two guys on the outer edges, Joshua, should totally be able to get. But, whatever. Man, I didn't know we were gonna be fighting. Yeah. Might as well stick to damaging these guys. Oh, crap. That healed up, like, all the damage we just did. Hmm. Zeme's not really good for anything but attacking. Well. There is this. And then hopefully he's got... Ooh. Yeah, let's see what this, uh... Wrap. Well, that should now get everybody, right? 
And then Father Kevin gets the move immediately afterwards. Nice. Heal. The Firebolt EX is the only thing we've got that really does what we need it to. Oh, crap. Yeah, we're about to take a little bit of a beating here. That's Zine. Heavy Armor Piercer. Alright, this Strength Down should get everybody. Unless it doesn't work on them. Nope. Cool. Well, that's really useful. Now we really just need Zine to... Well, first be done with his attack. I uh, Joshua can't really do much. Alright. Gotta be quick with the debuffs and hope and pray that... Yeah, hope and pray that Olivier has the capacity to heal. Because otherwise we're gonna need Father Kevin to do it. Uh, yeah, this isn't ideal. But at least they're susceptible to, it looks like, all, everything. Okay, Latir is crap, but it's better than nothing. And I think we'll have Olivier. Let's do... Okay, Stone Impact is the largest attack we've got. That still did a whole lot of damage. They're all gathered up. They're asking for her. Okay, Joshua. He can... Yeah. Getting them that clustered is beautiful. Zine. Heal. Does he have any uh, ability to heal? Yeah, he's got Tira. Gotta help Joshua out. And he is going to Flare Bolt EX everybody. Oh, crap. Well, that's one enormous miss. Cool. Now all we need is for Joshua to get Forte'd next. We've got Father Kevin coming up, so I think we will let him have the Forte. Hmm. Yeah, it's probably for the best. Alright. Forte on Joshua. That's it for that. Hmm. He's... We're just going to have him attack, then. All right. Here's hoping that Joshua can put some serious hurt on these guys. Because otherwise, we're going to have to depend on Zine going physical. Dang, maybe we should have just brought in... Uh, brought Julia... Yeah, that did not do nearly as much as I think it should have. Oh well. He will... Yeah. Let's keep the Phantom Pains going. Zine? Who is... Yeah, it's 787. I want to say it's only 787. It could be... So much better. Oh well. These guys can take a beating! Mm. At least we're keeping them down, but... Okay. I think we'd be best off having them use hit-alls. Because look at how much CP Kevin just restored right there from getting them. 
So Joshua's gonna be up next. He's yeah, really only got gate. Smoke grenade. Yeah. That's okay though, he's using magic. Hmm. Father Kevin. I mean it it's working for us, so there's no reason to quit with the flare bolts, right? Yep, 200 CP, easy. And then this should get Joshua, if it doesn't get him back up to 100, it should get him close. Yep. Uh, Zine, he's just going to be punching people. But Olivier can now help out. Uh, yeah. A Flare Bolt EX is right up his alley. And it's going to crit. Okay, cool. It looks like we're actually going to be able to mostly take care of these guys thanks to them wanting to group up for some unexplained reason. Oh no, we lost that crit. That's fine though. Yeah, he's down anyways. I think... Yeah, after this we should have Joshua back in the mix. Maybe we can start getting kills after this. Alright, uh, yeah, everybody else should be down. Okay, so first things first, Zine, yeah, it doesn't cost very much to tear a Kevin, and he needs it. While Kevin, nice, get everybody with this one. We definitely want to hang on to our, um, S-Crafts, because these are going to get tougher before they get any easier. And being able to just grind our CP up on these guys makes life way better. Now let's see how this will work out. Yeah, he needs some help next. But Joshua, even more so than needing to help him, yeah, needs to grind that back up. Um, Latir is pretty small range, but... Wow, we... We can keep these guys perma-fainted with, um, a gate. So now they should start falling, and then we'll be able to gang up on the one guy who's been standing away from his comrades this whole fight. Yep, you're done. Dang, and he was the one who was connecting him to everybody else. Um. Yeah, having Zine just punch people should work wonders for us. And that strength up buff has lasted for forever. You're done. Can Father Kevin one-shot somebody? Yeah, he should be able to one and done. Nope, not even close. Alright, so Joshua's gonna be the person who... I guess does this. He doesn't have any healing. That sucks. And Father Kevin is definitely going to have to heal himself after this. With a nice little bit of Tira-ing. Mm. Yeah, both of them should be killed on this next attack. So after this, we Forte Zine again. And then as long as we keep our HP up and their strength down, we should be able to just get 200 CP on these guys, no problem. Uh, Joshua, he had the... yeah. The clock down. All we're gonna do is need it on this guy, and then we can just punch him to death. Good. Olivier is standing a little far front in the formation, but that's fine. It's not anything we can't play around. Good. And let's all... Well, it'll take way too long if we don't Forte. But now we can start actually going in on this guy. With Father Kevin supporting all the way, of course. Because he's the only person who can lots here. Uh, that's about a 
Oh, Dark Matter's pretty expensive, but it is gonna heal our EP after this, so... Not too extra worried. And then let's see what kind of power Joshua's working with. Just enough. What can we get with... Okay. Everybody with a lot here, except for Olivier, but... He's far enough back that, I guess... The man in black would have to use charge if he really wants to get at him. And even if he does do that, we should still be able to heal Olivier before he takes too much uh, damage, so... It's not anything too horrendously terrible. Wow. That sucked. Hmm. We're at half health. Anything to prevent him from having a turn? Where he heals? Nope. Too much to ask for? Okay, that's too much to ask for, apparently. Definitely don't want to use... Uh, well, Zine will be able to build his S-Craft back up. All of that just to prevent him from being able to heal himself. But it's okay. Yep. Luckily, Olivier doesn't need to be able to see in order to use his magic. Joshua could use a Forte. Yeah. Man. If only we had some better Quartz to be able to use La Forte. We can make this guy's day way worse, but... As long as we have Zine and Joshua on the job, I'm not worried. That is a lot of damage to contest with, though. That's the only thing. But we're in the home stretch now. Three fights. I'm wondering who the other ones could be. We've got to be moving into named characters. In fact, I think we're gonna... Because of the um, title card, we might even be fighting Ren and Colonel Richard. Dang, we probably wanted to hang on to Zine's S-Craft, but... Oh, well. Oh! Yeah, we're not gonna... We're gonna leave this to Zine. 25 CP. Not a whole lot, but definitely more than nothing. Alright. Beated them soundly. Or beat them soundly. I said beated. The match is decided. The winner is... Father Graham's team! Alright. So who's up next? Oh, these guys are all gonna combine into one sheep, I think. Let's keep up this momentum! First, allow me to introduce who we'll be fighting in the second round! In the blue corner, we are led by Father Kevin Graham of the Septian Church's Grawls Ritter. Standing against them in the red corner, we have the adorable but deadly Team Creepy Sheep! Step on up and ready your weapons! Ready? Fight! Okay. So these guys are all gonna combine. It's not the worst thing ever, but... How's about... A nice bit of flare striking. Joshua is gonna dip into his CP in order to try to get them to not... Yeah. Get... Like, not act immediately. Oh, they aren't going to combine. So, we've been bested. The match is decided. The winner is... Team Creepy Sheep. Oh, what a pity. It looks like our challengers are going to have to go home on the second round. Yep, we lost. And now is the gentle friend going to make fun of us? What a shame. I was honestly expecting that you might be able to put up a little more of a fight. But alas, I was mistaken. Still, if you ever feel up for having another attempt, do come back. You will be very much welcomed. <sighs> okay. Okay, so that first match legitimately went way worse than the second one. What we're gonna have to do is definitely focus on the two differently colored sheep up there. 
Uh, we're gonna see if this, the only female kind of creepy sheep. Hmm. Well, Joshua, we made a bunch of food in between the previous episode, our previous episode, previous attempt in this one. See if we can get any random ailments. Uh, we blinded one of them, but that's not really the one we wanted to blind. Zine. Uh, yeah, let's have him try too. A blind and a mute. Only on one of them, though. And... Okay. Because we should be getting swarmed. Oh, and one of them's petrified. Check that out. That one should be way easier to kill. Yeah, and they can still... I'm kind of regretting because I set Chloe as a... I set Chloe as the... Support member. And I'm regretting it massively. That defense down... Uh, that defense minus 5% is pretty brutal. Okay, that's target numero uno. See if this thing is susceptible to confuse. It is. All right. Well, now we've got one working for us. Um, we'll have Joshua make use of that crit. Joshua is asleep. Huh. Yeah, there he goes. There's just so many of them. Crap. Alright, and that brought Zine down. Luckily, we've got the Amar Spiritus. Uh, it's not ideal, though. Uh, yeah. Well, Zine's strength up, there's no reason not to have him try it. See how many he can kill. And Olivier, too. Dang, maybe we would have been better off if we'd had Mueller be our tag in. Oh well. Hey, that's a pretty okay amount of damage if I do say so myself. And then the one petrified in the back. I don't think we've got to worry about that. Definitely I'm not gonna, like, attack it or anything. Not while we've got the center mass of the enemies right here. And so many of them are status that we don't really have to worry about them. Yeah. yeah he's still done. Welp, okay. And I even looked. None of them inflicted sleep on us the first time around, so I didn't even bother with it. Or I didn't really... I didn't bother doing any... Or getting anything that could have prevented sleep. Alright. Let's see what Josh was able to get out of this. Mm, still asleep. Yeah, that sucks, but at least no one else is able to move, right? Alright, so next thing's next. We've got one swing witch. I really would rather hold on to that, so... Alright, it's the Queenly Cookies, the only thing we've got left. Let's see what Joshua can make it out of this. Alright, still not much. But after he, if he takes another hit... Alright. If he takes another hit... Yeah, Zine's down. Not ultra worried about that. Just the taunting is crazy. Hmm. White Gehenna will take forever to cast again, but... One hit from Joshua, and we should... Yeah. Good. Be able to clinch this, hopefully. Or at least push them back enough that we can just get in there. I really feel like Colonel Richard and Ren are going to be the final enemies of this. Hmm. 
Oh! Oh, we really didn't want them to end right there. Four, five, six, seven. Okay. We didn't finish it right there, but Joshua might actually be killed. No. But the White Gehenna is going to miss completely. And we've only got one party member who's not asleep. Well, we've got two now, but... Joshua will probably still be killed after this. He'd have to not pick Joshua as a target. Alright. So, how much... Not very much. Alright, whatever. Yeah. Father Kevin's got... Uh, he's got just enough to tide us over. So let's see who our final opponents are going to be. The match is decided. The winner is... Father Graham's team. Okay. Oh. Oh, this is it. The moment is upon us at last. It's time for the final round to begin. Will our challengers emerge victorious one last time? You won't have to wait long to find out. Well, allow me to introduce our final teams! In the blue corner, we are led by Father Kevin Graham of the Septian Church's Grawls Ritter. Standing against them in the red corner, we have the Ouroboros-affiliated Team Gilbert. Step on up and ready your weapons! Okay, ready? Fight! Oh, man. Alright, so first things first... Uh, we're probably not going to be able to confuse these guys. Spindall, a 13 Factories make Archaism, lightweight model for mop-up operations. Geopaxi, an Archaism made for Gilbert by the 13 Factories, has many different armaments. Alright, so if we focus on the small fry first, we should be able to just take them out. And I think I'm going to have everybody start super spread out just to try to combat this, because that's... That's all they're doing is bullet barraging us to death. They just keep doing it. And now I have to redo this all over. Oh, man. The match is decided. The winner is Team Gilbert. Oh, what a pity. Our challengers were so close, but winning the final round was just out of their reach. Ah, <sighs> okay. I wonder if the gentle friend says anything. This nearly brings a tear to my eye. You were so close to glory too. Still, I believe you, were, uh, you will be able to use what you've learned here in order to claim victory next time. So by all means, come back and take another crack at it. We'd love to see what you can do. Man. Alright, so next, we need those equips. Okay, so we are, uh... Hopefully, back in action. First things first, we're going to actually spread out a bit. Yeah. We do not want a repeat of what happened last time. This is so obnoxious. And we have to bring Zine into this fight. So dumb, but yeah, I'm probably not going to come back until we're four or five levels higher. And we can actually do this. But yeah, level 107 is apparently not enough to take this on. Not anywhere close to being enough. And it sucks too, because I gutted people's orbments to be able to do this. Uh, Alright, so with that nonsense behind us for the time being, I guess that's what they mean by a mini game. but we're just not strong enough to take it on is okay yep there's Josette I went to buy ingredients and there were several people hold on uh because we ate all that stuff we'd be better off loading yeah okay now we can go back we ate way too much food to just have lost out on uh an unsuccessful run hopefully we can make even more when the time comes but for now we'll pick Josette's brain and see what's going on with her Mm. I keep saying one of these days I should read those Carnelia volumes, but... Are you feeling alright, Reese? I can go and get you some medicine if it would help. 
You big dummy. She's not sick. She's angry. Josette is pretty perceptive. Huh? Come on. Read between the lines. That phony priest obviously said something to make her mad, and this is the result. You're better off leaving her alone for now. Um, but... If you want to keep lying to yourself, Kevin, then go right ahead. If that's what makes you happy, I won't stop you. But as long as you keep doing so, I don't want to talk to you. <sighs> Alright. Go ahead and switch these guys out. See if they're hanging out. Uh, they are not hanging out down here with Reese. Okay. Are they... Nope. Well, there was no one near the fountain, so maybe the drinking buddies are over there drinking? Yeah, we'll see what they're up to. Because everybody else should be hanging around near the ingredients tree. Unless there's someone up here? Nope. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure if there's ever going to be anything else over there. There is no one? Okay. I guess literally everybody else must be hanging out near the ingredients tree. But man. I wonder if there's a recommended level or something like that that I can look at. For that sun door. Getting blown out was not... Especially because we had to do those fights. That was what? It had to have been over 10 fights. It's disturbing to think that we are literally fighting fiends taken from the church's texts. Then again, our enemies are capable of making a replica of an entire city. I suppose summoning mirrors and tanks are child's play to them. It sure has been a long time since we last met, hi Joshua. You've been to Erebonia and Crossbill now, right? Why not make your way over to Calvert? Oh, it's something I'd like to do eventually. Estelle and I are currently looking for someone, though. Hmm. Fair enough. Incidentally, I heard from Shara in one of her letters that Kilika returned to the Republic. She mentioned something about her retiring from the guild after being scouted by the Calvardian government. So who's taken over that branch? It's the Zeiss one should be. What? The lady who used to look after the Zeiss branch? For real? Never would have seen that coming. Yeah, it's all true. I hear she's up to her eyes in work these days. And you know how she is. Taking it easy isn't an option for her. She gives her all to everything she does. She's doing a hell of a job, though. Her co-workers and subordinates are all terrified of her already. <laughs> I wouldn't have Kielika any other way. Still, who could have pictured anything like this happening? Or that I'd find myself smack dab in the middle of it? On the plus side, at least you guys have been doing a fine job with your investigating, so we've got some idea what we're doing. We'll just have to keep using that as a guide to try and press on. How have you been since we last met, Your Highness? What if your popularity in Erebonia High Society has been reaching over uh, us over in Labell too? Well, I'm doing a good enough job of convincing them I'm little more than an elegant yet harmless prince at the moment. Still, spending so much of my time pretending to be someone I'm not can be terribly exhausting. So, I'm biding my time and waiting for the perfect chance to cast it all aside and reveal my true form to the world. Then, all shall know Olivier, the Gospeler of Love! Well, you moron. Gospeler of Love? That's what you're going with? Who else thinks he's going to be even more of a menace to society than the Black Orbit Gospels ever were? <laughs> It's reassuring to see how little he's changed at heart, though. It's seeming more and more like we were all drawn in here at the same time. Which is a relief in some ways. If that pitiful thing had been left in the outside world without me to watch it, I shudder to think what would have happened. I'd come to his defense, but no, I can't blame you. It, ha it has always felt like we were being somehow protected when we were in this garden as opposed to anywhere else in Phantasma. So I can certainly believe the idea that it may be connected to that ghost. Still, the thought of that ghost has yet to leave my mind since I first heard about her. 
Just imagine the spirit of a beautiful woman left all alone in this empty realm. <laughs> Doesn't the thought just get your imagination racing? Uh, I guess not. But, yeah, that should be everyone. But okay, we didn't get... I we were just we were just too weak to get done what I wanted to get done this episode, but we're gonna go ahead, continue on, grind up some levels, and kill everything else. But that's all gonna be next time though, so definitely join me then. One more Trails in the Sky the third. Bye for now, guys. Bye.